Hi everyone, this is Melody. Um, I want to show a really quick, small haul, but it's good. You're going to say, oh, I got to get in my car and go. No, I don't know. You may not care. But anyway, I'll show you. Um, I went to TJ Maxx yesterday. I had to wait uh, a little bit to pick up my son from school. And so I was like, well, I'll go in TJ Maxx, see what they got going on. And lo and behold, up by the front registers, they had, for them, a plethora, which means that there was at least two of each kind, um, Studio Calico wood veneers. And I had really been wanting some of the new ones that Prima has coming out with their new collections, but they're retailing for $5.99, and I just don't want to pay $5.99 for um for them at this time so I'm like stalking holding out for the sale so anyway um, Studio Calico is at TJ Maxx and possibly Marshall's too because I got some paper from Marshall's um, the previous weekend so I got the banners and you get 23 pieces and they are $1.99 I got I actually got two of the banners because I um, do plan to share um, some of those with a friend I got the feathers and I really probably should have got two because for some reason I'm intrigued with feathers lately not the real ones but like um, you know like feather stamps and stuff like that so I don't know I may stop in there today and see if I'm the only crafty person in my town that actually knows what these are used for um, so there's 26 of the feathers. I don't know why, where they get their math from, you know, different counts in different uh, boxes. $1.99. This one is pretty cool. They're like, I guess, little speech bubbles. And that one says, like, quoted. There's an ampersand in there. This one says, yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughter says that all the time. So um, I can really use that one. Thanks. Here on the back, I guess, these are the ones that are in there. This is really cool, the little mini speech bubbles. Now get this, there's 46 pieces in this one. I guess because some of them are just symbols, maybe. Like there's an asterisk right there. And there's numbers. And then they have the frames. And I'm probably going to kick myself because I love little different frames. And I only got one of each because I was telling myself, get what you need and, you know, leave some for someone else or whatever. And... I don't know, I mean, I could have wiped out the whole counter and then tried to sell it on the scrap yard and on Facebook, but I just didn't want to do that right now. So anyway, I will check back today when I go to pick up my daughter from school and see if they have any more, but, you know, they're probably gone. Anyway, 14 of the frames. I think they're super cute. And that's the back of the package, so I assume those are the styles that you get. So those were $1.99, and they had a lot of the... um buy a lot again I mean two or more of the date stamps by Studio Calico and they had a few of the Amy Tangerine ones as well and those were $2.99 but I had found some of those um, a while back so I didn't get them I picked up another one of the thickers this one is um, the white one and it's called LAX and this one shows them um, inking and glittering it which you guys already know you can do that I've, I've picked this one up because it's purple and I have two girls so you can always use purple this one's a dear Lizzie and it's called fantastic and it's purple I hadn't ever seen purple and I met a really nice lady in TJ Maxx and um she was looking at some of the clearance stuff and I was like looking at a dress form that I had been stalking and she said oh it looks like you're shopping for crafty stuff and she's like maybe you want these these are red and they were on clearance for a dollar so that's not bad at all for a pack of thickers and um these being red and baby munchkin from Mars started school this year so I'm sure I'll get quite a bit of use out of the red ones for um you know little school related projects so that was my tj max little mini haul then over at ac more they have a uh, queen and company embellishments and i purchased some before but i don't know if i shared it with anyone but look at this this is a good size bling guys and it is only a dollar 
So you figure a dollar for bling, um, you know, and you mix it with your balsa box or your Dollar Tree boxes and you've made a really cute project for a little of nothing. Um, they had pearl, like uh, silver or just regular bling, rhinestone bling. There was pink and a turquoisey blue color and kind of like a smoky gray color. Um, but these are the colors I needed because I didn't want to buy a lot. And I found a few more Studio G stamps. This one's really cute. It's a little par Parisian collage. And that's what the back looks like. An actual stamp. And this one says, love you to the moon and back. I'm trying to um, collect sentiment stamps. And of course, you know, the cheaper I can get them, all the better. So those were only a dollar each. That's not too bad. And in their ribbon bin, uh, bin, they had some dollar ribbon. And they had this one. It's a silver mesh. And this is AC Moore. I thought that would be nice for um, holiday cards or maybe an anniversary card. I used my 40% off coupon and I got, sorry for the glare, I got Blackbird uh, Fluid Chalk. I have a tiny um, Studio G Black Fluid, uh, Black Chalk from, uh, I got it at Joann's, but this is a big regular size pack and I did not have Blackbird, which I'm hoping that's black and it doesn't turn out to be like Blackberry or something. I'm assuming it's black. So I got that. Use my 40%. It was $5.99 with 40% off because, you know, try not to pay real full price. I'll just show you some of the things I'm working on. This is a saturated canary um, digital. And I use color pencils on that one. Um, these are my Unity stamps. Unity Stamp Company. Um, I'm working on this one and I'm just working on just doing skin tones I'm not trying to do the you know where the shadows cast on them and all of that so I was just fooling around with that this morning had a little bit of quiet time once I got the kids off to school this is a distress marker I know you can color with them and so I was just trying it and as you can see my hands weren't steady enough or whatever so I didn't get a clean crisp stamping on this but you know what I was thinking it doesn't matter anyway because it's for me and if I use it kind of mixed media like maybe I'll put some glimmer spray or something on it or use some watercolor to color it in it really doesn't matter you know so I'm gonna use this even though this is what I consider to be a flub I'm gonna use it um this one came out a little bit better when I was stamping it and um for those of you who have trouble getting a crisp image, what I did with this one, because over here I had the same problem getting a crisp stamping, I actually put the paper on top of the stamp and pressed down with my uh, with another acrylic block to try and get a better result, and that worked for me. So that might work for you if you know. You don't have steady hands or you just don't have a lot of um, stamina or energy in your hands. So I'm going to use these flubs because I can always over stamp with something else. And as you know, I love butterflies, so I can use butterfly stamps on those areas. This right here, I was, I'll tell you how these splotches happen. Um, that is alcohol ink. That's one of the Spectrum Noir mar markers. This one right here is me fooling around again with the Vintage Photo Distress Marker. And again, this was the Vintage Photo Distress Marker. So as you see, um, you've got two different skin tones here just by fooling around and using water. So... That was um, interesting to learn because I really had not fooled with my... I only have like three distress markers. I buy them when they're on 40% off at Joann's. So I really hadn't done a whole lot with it. Now, this is something that... <laughs> you know how those disclaimers, you may not want to try this at home. But then again, you may want to try it at home. Why not? Who cares? Um, I hadn't used my markers much because I just think I do better with the color pencils and I wanted to do skin tones this is one of the tans that came in the brown set browns set and 
the darn thing is dried out already and I was like son of a biscuit eater are you kidding me so rather than throw it away I had this caramel 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 Adirondack uh, alcohol ink and so the light bulb went off yes it did people the light bulb went off the electricity bill was paid I said well this is supposed to be an alcohol ink marker only it's not really doing its job right now because it's dry as a desert you got this alcohol ink right here that you're not using for any particular reason so I went in my husband's little tool drawer messing around with this stuff again popped it off and I filled it with this and it works where did I use it because this is what the marker originally was doing and then as you can see it just you know it died on me so I went ahead and used it oh that's what I used it on I'm sorry I told you wrong I used it on here so it worked see <laughs> save yourself some money why not I mean you had I had these two perfectly good pin nibs and this perfectly good dry crusty chamber so I filled it up with this and that's what I got out of it. I hope this helps somebody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.